Hello my soccer universe! At the time this video posts, I am already in Vienna, so I won't be able to make a video about the semifinals until that weekend. It will most likely be Sunday, but could already be on Saturday that I will review those games. But I thought, to kind of make up for it, I give you a slight collection video by one where I'm building actually the background for these European semifinals, which means 12 teams are in those semifinals and I have 12 shirts to show you for this particular one. So it's kind of exciting and let's see how this is built. And I want to start the whole thing in the Conference League where the first team is Fiorentina that I have here. I'm using this is my only purple Fiorentina shirt. They will be playing at home. So this one will go up the wall. I really like it. Got it in Florence itself and you know it has the four districts here. Fiorentina will of course face Basel. For Basel I also have only one shirt and no they are not matching uh, because Basel will play in, Flo in Florence probably in a white jersey. However I have this home jersey. I think it's the 1890, cent uh, not centenary but 125 year version. Uh, got this as part of a pack package deal and it paid off although I will not use it for next year's European competitions. As you can see, I've decided to put the home teams up top, away teams on the bottom and the Conference League will be the outside ones. I decided this one is probably the less glamorous matchup because the more glamorous one is when West Ham will host Alkmaar and for West Ham I decided to go with another 125 year jersey. This was part of a Mr. Exchange with Dan from Club Football Shirts. I really enjoyed this jersey. You have also chosen it. Uh, to be the West Ham jersey I use for the season. So this one will go up the wall. I think this was the 1920 season, but I'm not 100%. And as we have established, West Ham will play Alkmaar. I knew I needed to get an Alkmaar jersey, not only for my Dutch uh, <laughs> videos, but also since I knew they will do well in the Conference League. I got this one. I want to say this was 16, 17 or 17, 18, I got it recently. It's a little bit of an off jersey. It's very tight fitting for an XL, but you know, uh, it looks a little bit different. I actually don't, don't, don't mind the red and the golden accents here. Also the line goes very nicely with the crest here, although not perfectly lining up. Okay, Europa Conference League. We have the semifinals up. Now we go to the Europa League where the first semi-final again i am not happy with the colors because they won't be able to play like this but roma is playing at home i'm using the 1415 home jersey to me uh, near the perfect roma jersey it is just uzi's class well there's a nice pin striping pattern in there goes up on the wall next to the fiorentina one so up there you go and roma of course play leverkusen i've only one level leverkusen short mainly because I'm not a huge Leverkusen fan, although I think I saw a black shirt very nicely, although I think, and as you know, you probably have noticed already, but I, they will probably play in white in Rome. But I have this one, was this the 1920 season or 1819 season? Yeah, it's for me a classic Leverkusen jersey, uh, jersey with some retro effect with the pinstriping. Actually really enjoy this. I want to say this was the first Jakob jersey, but I might be wrong on that account. However, the big matchup in the Europa League is of course Juventus against Sevilla. And for Juventus, I could have done the 2002-2003 home, home jersey. But I actually think that this jersey here is a little bit closer to what they were wearing. This is the, I think, 91-92 home jer jersey still. This is one of my favorite Juve shirts uh, and I'm so happy to have it. it was also my first Juve shirt. Yes, there are no Juve logos, except if you look carefully inside of the pattern, you may make out a Juve logo or two. Kind of predating this uh, weird Puma line, Juventus will go up next to West Ham. As for Sevilla, I am almost certain that Sevilla will uh, play in an away jer jersey. I don't think they will show up in their white jerseys at Juventus since Juventus is also white heavy. Unfortunately, for since about a year, I also have a Sevilla away jersey because I thought they will do well in La Liga. No, this was not meant to be. But it works out this time. The Sevilla away jersey that I have is actually, I think, a quite a special one. We can talk about all these patches, but that it's pink with the red and the white and then it says here 
on the side Sevilla. There's some really, really cool, there's some really, really cool stuff going on. Um, I like the oversized crest. I think this is from the 07, 08, no, 06, 07 season. Is this the, uh, I think it was the third jersey and it even came with a Danny Alves name set. And I think it was the last season of Danny Alves at Sevilla. Yeah. Goes down at Juve and pink also fits very nicely with Juve. I still want to get a nice pink Juve jersey, but I'm picky. And so we come to the Champions League. And just because I want to have it a little bit more bad, bad balanced out, we will now fill in next to the Roma jersey again, which kind of makes sense. Uh, the bigger matchup. Not by rival rivalry, but in terms of favorites, of course, Real Madrid against Manchester City. For Real Madrid, I have three home jerseys, and I'm a, uh, and I have decided I'll go with one of the Champions League winning ones. Not it has a La Liga patch, and in the Champions League in 2002 they were wearing the three stripes, but it's the centenary home jersey. It's quintessential Real Madrid. I absolutely love this shirt, and will go up on the wall next to Roma. Now for Manchester City, um, if last season is any precedent, I could see them wearing a light blue jersey. However, they did not fare well with a light blue jersey there and I think there might be some superstition there. I also remember that when they once eliminated Real Madrid, I think they were playing in a dark jersey away from home at the Bernabeu. So I think they will go with the I will go with the dark dark jersey. You have both of the 18-19 jerseys here. They recently from the player issue. This one I th will go with this one right here, and this will go here down below. I have to say I really really like this Manchester City jersey. Uh, there was some sounds or something about the colors that just fit. It was my first Manchester City jersey overall. And now for the main event, at least for me, and it's so funny because I'm shooting this now well before the derby. I'm wearing Milan, I'm very much supporting them and I really hope that they have beaten Inter the time, but I fear they have not because Inter are clearly the fav favorites. Since Milan will play at home the first leg, I'm choosing, of course, uh, a dark jersey, not a white one. But since the current Milan jersey is so black, I actually am using this black jersey from uh, the 98-99 season. It's a beautiful, beautiful shirt. I think of all the Milan shirts that I have, this is the closest one to the one that they're, they're, they're wearing. I don't have the one from 2000, they were wearing from 2000, 2002 or the current one. But you know, that's the one I'm using and that will go up between Real Madrid and Juve. And last, and definitely least. As a Milan fan, Inter is definitely least. Although I've already, already said, if they make it to the Champions League final and play Manchester City, I will begrudgingly support them. We'll talk, of course, Inter. Now, I fully expect that UEFA will allow Inter to play in blue and black at the San Siro against Milan. Although, um, you know, probably with white pants. Although I would like to see Milan with white, white pants. To make a little bit of a contrast, um, although I could see them saying, oh, you, both of your jerseys are so dark, uh, Inter, you change, but I really hope not. Now, I could use the recently acquired player issue from 1819, which I actually really like, but I will go with my original Inter jersey, which is the one from the 99-2000 season, uh, because I think it's much closer to the one they're wearing currently. That will be the Inter jersey still. It has a damaged Ronaldo name set to be hopefully sometime uh, repaired one way or another. That's the one that will go up there below the Milan jersey with the added effect that if you see me, I'm hiding Inter away. I don't like you guys. You're not beating Milan, hopefully. Please don't beat Milan. So there we go. All rivalry talk aside uh, and as I said, this video will post after the derby and I might look like a fool here. I actually think that Inter are the stronger team and probably will beat Milan, but I hope we still have a competitive game. So here is my entire European background for the upcoming season. If I, if I do it like, like that, we can actually get all jerseys in. 12 teams, 12 jerseys. It's rather exciting and for the next week I will actually switch the teams around and will change probably a few uh, jerseys uh, as well. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Drop a line below what you think about the jerseys in here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!